Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect and the Gang's DLC. Today's beverage is a nice traditional cup of tea. Hopefully the perfect beverage for planning a gang facility, which is what we've done in the previous series. But that was without the recently added Gang's DLC and the kite update. So we're going to plan off and obviously start to build throughout subsequent episodes a new facility here. And it's all about the gangs, the new interactions, their new... Uh, behaviors etc and also hopefully about the reform of that as well so let's just see how we get on this is episode one so we'll be planning in this episode no building and then the subsequent ones obviously building and then managing and then hopefully not burning down let's go to create new prison and we need to go through and select all of our options so we're gonna go with a uh, male prisoner set we're gonna have in terms of our wardens well it would be rude not to pick one of the new wardens so we have captain J locks which is staff under locks command are able to push past their limits and prisoners are molded into model inmates. We have extra stamina for our staff as well as 10% reduction in the reoffending chance. We also have Dylan Cook who has food costs lowered by 25% so you can run a prison with a very sort of high uh, meal time stuff so you could say a very high variety and high quantity and run like two or three of those and yeah that will probably subdue a lot of people. There won't be much running after them uh, when you're eating 6,000 calories a day. But anyway, we've got food costs, 25% uh, uh, reduction, and programs that require external teachers cost 20% less. We're going to go with Captain J Locks for the uh, reoffending chance. In terms of our guard dogs, we do have different options here. We're going to go with the Beagle, because why not? Although we can change it later on. A lot of these things we can change later on. Uh, I should also point out I'm only running at this stage the Gangs DLC. This is the latest version of the game with the Gangs DLC. I haven't turned any of the other things on, so there's no uh, cleave for transfer. Psych Ward, Perfect Storm, anything that on, but we can add those in the future. Warden Mode, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, world Size is medium, weather and intensity we're going to have off. We are not going to have, obviously, start and seasons. Gangs is currently set to low. We previously played on Legacy, but we're going to go with a medium gang. Uh, setting here which is for experienced players and then uh, high is expert players searching for a serious challenge. I'm not in for a serious challenge after our previous one however this setting can be changed once we've started so if we find it quite frankly a bit boring then we can knock that difficulty up. More lieutenants it's currently set to 10 it says to reduce it, it says um choose numbers smaller than six if you want a challenge. I can't understand how lowering it would make it more challenging. I would have thought the other way around, but hey, we're going to stick with the default at uh, 10. Funds is currently 30 grand. I'm going to knock it up to 50 just to give us a little bit of extra spending money because, well, this is going to be a medium size facility. Plot type is default. Fog of War is off because it's a better experience for you to watch, I think. Although we will be placing security cameras in this because they now have an additional effect which gives us little um, eye openers as to what's going on. We will generate forests for that sweet, sweet tree money. Uh, we're going to have lakes off, buildings off, fairly conditions are going to be on. Uh, special gang reputations. Gangs are given reputations that modify the way the members behave in the prison. We are going to turn that on. Uh, apparently that does add the old deadly trait in, which could mean a lot of ultraviolence. Dynamic reputations. Prisoners have the chance to gain or lose reputation traits during their time in prison based on their activities. I had that on before, and there was a trait that went round. There was a weird combo that went round where they were, I think it was like escape, but also could learn other traits really quickly, and everybody got the ability to basically jump over fences or, or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was because I played with it once and vowed never to turn it on again. So I'm not going to bother with the dynamic reputations. I'm also not going to turn on events because, quite frankly, yeah, I'm sick of just dealing with a burst water pipe or a fire here and there. We can plan for it and it's not really much of a challenge anymore. So yeah, we'll turn that on. We'll just keep that off. It's a bit more of an annoyance thing at this stage. Uh, staff needs we are going to put on. I think that does gel well with the new staff um, uh, corruption mechanics. So that seems to work well. We are going to have escape plans on as well. Unlimited funds and bureaucracy, no. So let's just click play and see what plot we've got. And it's... It's, well, not ideal. Let's go sell materials and... Oh, we can't actually do that. I'm going to have to dismantle object and dismantle all of these trees here. So clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy. Um, the thing is with this now, obviously in the previous 
episodes, we were building a facility that was based on the old legacy version of the game, which was the last official version from Introversion. And that means that when I'm building here, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to go, oh, that's in the game, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it will almost certainly be a thing. So anyway, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just giving ourselves a generous margin around the outside so contraband cannot be thrown in. I think you need a distance of 10 between the walls. I've gone with 12 in between them, so we're actually losing a lot of space. But it's also going to give me, obviously, a little bit of leeway just in case anything untowards happened. So in terms of the build, as I said, we want to go with something that is not overly harsh per se so i'm not really going for l loads of armed guards and guard towers and things like that, although we will have some of those uh, the object is to hopefully try and have a manageable amount of prisoners and go for reforms and things like that so anyway this is our main way into the facility so this is going to have a reception here um, i covered it or discussed it rather in a previous video where we were on about the latest DLC and what our plans are for this build and frankly I'd like to make this as automated is the wrong term but I'd like to make it as what would be the right word autonomous as possible so we don't enter the facility unless we absolutely need to so that means the cells wherever they happen to be although to be fair i did plan on three something like this uh we don't have guards in them that that is not the plan but we will have access from these walls where guards will be stationed in security offices if anything goes off straight in job done that means a lot of automated doors control systems that sort of thing similarly i don't want uh visitors and such to go into the main body of the facility it's going to happen we know it's going to happen we know the game's going to root it somewhere that we don't want to let's just deal with it we'll put that to bed uh but this central path here i plan ha having this like an open way like that and then bulging out to something like this where maybe that something like this will be our kitchen and canteen this will be the staff areas uh, the visitors areas that's the plan whether or not i accomplish the plan successfully well we'll see and this is only a plan it's not the final you know we can't change it type thing so 90 can we go with 30 to there let's see 30 to there i'm just gonna see if i can roughly measure this let's see what we can fit in so is that 30 that is 30 and these are gonna be our three cell blocks why three because there are three types of gangs and then in here 30 but the internals are different aren't they internal 20 hang on internal of 30 internal of 28 29 29 but i couldn't make it smaller internal of 26 what I might do is shrink these down a bit. Terminal of twenty-eight. Twenty-six. Oh we can make we can make internal twenty-nine. Uh internal twenty-eight across the board. See they are the same. Yeah. Okay. So same. Same. So that's internal twenty-eight. Internal twenty-eight. Internal 28. Good. As for length, not sure. But these bits here, this is where we're going to have a way for the guards to come in. So we'll have entrance here. This is going to be a security room. Needs to be internal of 4x4. So, I mean, we could have a 4x4. I'm going to do that. So we'll have a door there and a door there. And doors either side and then a door to the end of there so we can get into this place if we need to and then our cells which are going to be standard two by uh whatever's two by th two by threes 
Okay, let's work on something like that. Again, this is just... I had an idea, this is how I'm executing it. Don't know if it's going to work out. Don't know if it's going to change by next episode. But it means that we don't have guards patrolled, but we do have our doors here. And it means that these are all, as I said, um, the automatic door openers and such. Yeah, seems to work out. Um, so those will go on there, that's fine. We're going to have a similar thing over here, so come along and do that. That's wrong size. Internal of 5x4. Double check that. It's 5x4. Yes, it is. Doors, as we've mentioned, they're there. Um, in here. Don't know about the length of that yet, but we know it's going to come along and across. Like that. Similar thing. Could you get rid of that double bit there and here? That's wrong. Okay, cool. Um, right. We are also going to have a sim similar thing on the other side. What I'll do then, I'm going to plan this one, because that'll just be cloned all the way down. So let's do that. So this is our cell block. Cell block, whatever colour it happened to be for the gangs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Do I need it bigger? Uh, depends what the internal is going to be, doesn't it? Well, there's 9 to there. So if it was 9 to there, um, I'll tell you what I'll do as well. I'll do that. That's going to be, I think, running to there. Mm. Yeah, okay. So our doors go there. Okay, right. Yeah, I see what's going on here. So again, all of this at back here, behind the cells, is just for guards. Alright, I actually quite like that. It's something that I've not really done for a long time. We haven't really done anything like that in these builds before. Uh, for a long time, should I say. So, this is all, like say, staff only. With these doors here, which will almost certainly be, like, the remote ones. Don't, don't think that I necessarily need a staff. Like, do I need a security room here? Like a 4x4? Four four? I mean, I could do. I could do. But then I don't think I need another, I don't think I need one there. I'm not too sure about that one. It means there's two doors to the edge here, which is a bit problematic. Like, this could pose a huge security threat. <laughs> um, okay. I mean, tentatively, a security room. Maybe. The other way to do it would be to have this run along. And that would be a security room. And it'd be something like that. So there's your security room, then secure back here. I'm not too sure about that one. Let me know what you think. Um, I'm I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Right, over to other things inside if here. I think we're going to try and keep it as self-contained as possible. So it means that we can have cells on either side. Let me just remove those. What I mean by self-contained is the toilets and showers are going to be in each individual cell which is what we've done previously it doesn't it doesn't not thematically fit but it also something that doesn't sit right with me but we're gonna rook, we're gonna run it because it worked out so well last time um and in the center here we've got i mean we've got a huge space to do whatever we want with most likely we have a bit of a common room in there yeah a bit of a common room in there okay Yeah. What I'm very aware of is that by putting these doors in like that, we've essentially made one huge cell block. <laughs> it's not split up by a wall. So by adding in the additional security of 
No, one second. Let me just put some exports in. By adding in this additional security layer, allowing easy access for guards into the facility, I've also compromised this. The other option would be that. Completely remove those and put in doors like that. We still have... No, we couldn't even have that at the end then. So we'd still have an issue because if these prisoners want to get to here, they can smash through this and through, into, through the security room. They could do that. Um, okay, okay. I actually quite like that. That that makes sense to me. This one at the front. That's probably a weak point. To get through the other side. One, two, three, four doors. One, two, three, four doors. Whereas if I had it like that. It'd be the exact same amount, wouldn't it? So it's not going to change anything. Um... Okay. I'm going to leave it like that, but that may change. So we'll see how we get... We'll see how we get on with it, shall we? We'll see how we get on with it. Let's just plan the rest of this in. It's not going to be an exhaustive plan, obviously. But... Doors are along here. Along here. Along there. And we've got that weird security room at the top there. Might as well plan it off. I think it's something like that. Internal was 4x4, four four, which is which is what it is. The doors go there. <clears throat> Excuse me. The doors can go there. Yeah, don't really need a door there, do we? No, we don't. Okay. So that's the that's the model cell. So it's um one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what's that? 36 for each one? Okay. Should probably turn off intake, by the way. Uh, <laughs> I should point out it's a high-risk facility, by the way. We're going to go max sec. So... That's the cells, and that's the security features. That may change, but let's work on this front bit. So as I said... More automation. There's going to be big doors here. It's going to come along in the center. Uh, for lack of a plan, which measure 22 from this. Naturally, pathways are going to run along like this and along. Double pathway. And this is where we can have the yards. Now, the yards themselves, I'm tempted to surround by... I'm tempted to surround them with fences and have them designated. But we also have new rooms. One's the cage. Is it cage? The cage, yeah. An outdoor unit that a single prisoner can use. So we may have to have several cages. Okay. Because of that, we'll probably make these a bit bigger then. So, let's make them... They were originally 18. Let's go for a straight 30. That's actually quite large for yards. But it's going to be split up, as I said. Um... However, another feature that I was contemplating is, is that right size? Let's double check. Yeah. Is to have walls. That's not walls. Walls along here for each of these. Like that. This is where we'll may lose the staff only thing. If 
we seal off this... Hmm. I was thinking of maybe even sealing that off there and having this come down to the yards. Okay. Problem with that is there's limited access then. I mean, assuming this is the way in to each of these cell blocks. To get to over here, they have to go all the way around this outside or go through the centre because they can't get access to this. Mm, I don't particularly mind. It feels like it's going to be a bit cramped. But this also leans into the whole staff-only slash automation side of it, where they only come into this facility if they absolutely need to. But what I do want to do is have... See, it means that this here... <laughs> absolute nightmare. Is that 14, is it, to there? Let me check from this one. 14. So that is correct. So we'll have to have the entrance here, won't we? And maybe an entrance over the other side. That seems off to one side. Because of this, yeah. Why do we have to have a walkway around the outside? Why can't we just have, this have a big just have a big yard and have to walk through the yard instead of around? That's not a terrible idea. Let's let's assume something like that could happen. That just being yard. And pathway goes straight through. And then this is yard on both sides. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a bit more sense. Doors there, doors there. And it means you get more yard. I quite like that. Again, it's somewhat different as well. That we haven't really done. Let me just double measure this. Should be 14. Should be that. 14 and 14. Yeah, I think that's about right. So pathways right across. Like that. Again, all this is to be changed. We can change this whenever we need to. Okay, I like that. <clears throat> what I was also going to do is... It's 31. Turn 31? Oh, it's actually wrong. But that provides me with a really good opportunity. It should be 15 and 15, which it is, to that. And then from here... All we're going to do is have another fenced bit. We'll have a guard tower in here. Yeah. Guard tower there, maybe? Two on both sides, perhaps. Mm, I mean, we could probably just do that. Couldn't we? And just put a guard tower in here. Although you need a little bit more room, I think, for it. Which is that. And there's your guard tower. And that should be able to cover all of it. But it means that we have a guard tower there. There's also there's something else that's in the game, but it's... Uh... Yeah, you've got a guard pavilion. Placing yards and open areas for guards and armed guards to watch your prisoners. That's the guard pavilion. But it's a big, big building. There's a corner yard pavilion, which I don't actually like. Because to get access to it is a pain. It's a real pain. You literally need access to that door. Um, although it does work exactly the same as a guard pavilion. So we don't need a pavilion. We could use the corner piece, couldn't we? So that could go there. Then this one would be... That one. You know what? Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah. Let, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. So it would be that. Would be that, yeah. Internal of 4x4. Four four. Same thing on this side. Internal of 4x4. Four four with your entrance there. Let's just measure these out. Internal of 4x4, four four, which it is. 
And this is where we have our guard pavilion in each one. Just double check that. 4x4. Four 4x4. Four. Four four. Entrance there. Naturally doors. And doors. So there's actually no way into here for the guards. So we could just do that. And it means, again, if we do need access to it, we do have the provision for that. I sound like the idea of putting a wall around there. Like that. So the only way to get through it is by all these doors. There's going to be a lot of doors. This is, me this is more doors. Is this more door three? Back in the day, and we are talking about 17 centuries ago, we made more doors two, more doors. This is more doors three, it has to be. More doors with a vengeance, even. Okay, that looks really complicated, and it is, and it's over-engineered, <laughs> but we're going to stick with it. So, we have three yards, obviously cages and other things in there, there's other stuff we can do. Um... Let's crack on with building. So from this side then, we want a we want a kitchen and canteen. We are gonna have only one kitchen and canteen. I'm not gonna make three. However, we may have scheduled meal times. When I say may, I mean almost certainly have scheduled meal times. <laughs> so that'll be our canteen. Like that. Probably gonna make it a little bit bigger actually because we're gonna have a toilet block it's always useful to have a toilet block in these places that doesn't even fit in huh. is that right 28 okay i would have thought that would have fitted in nicely is this wrong 45 45. Huh, okay. Anyway, we may have a toilet block in there. That's the size of canteen I'm going for. It may be larger. But I also want to build along here. And along. And have... I don't want to make it a little bit larger. Possibly. Possibly to there. This is going to be a staff only area or a visitor only area. Hmm. Didn't work out as intended though, did it? Ah, that's because I haven't planned for the internal access, have I? So, pathways. Pathways of two. Which will then go along here. Internal of eight. Why not? Along there. Just putting in random sizes at the moment. What size are we on? 22. Six, seven, seven. Yeah. Mm. Let's make it a bit larger. We've got the room. So, 10. Internal. Yep, 10 internal. Oh, it fits in so well. <laughs> oh, well, if it fits, it sits. And that fits. So what we have here on both sides <laughs> is once again a miracle of l just, just sheer luck. Is several rooms. More than we actually need. I'm surprised just how many I've uh, got to fit in here. But several rooms that are only, they're only uh, visitor or staff. So just double check this. So it was from here down there. If 
from here, down there, and we could do that as well, and there, and there. So what we've got is an area where people come in here, there's your reception, this is all staff only, obviously we've got doors in here, multiple doors, um, we'll have to have that, but we'll come to that later on, this is our entrance to the canteen because the kitchen is going to be off to one side here and this is all staff uh, our visitors and they'll come along and in here and then you've got things like parole you've got visitation you've got all manner of things in here these sizes are all tbc because we've got 10 rooms that have access in the back here uh look for doors here all these all these access rooms here the people who come in never need to go into the main body of the facility, which is this. This is all the, the area for the prisoners. But then we still have all of our pathing for guards and such, if need be. Okay. Yeah, that's that's some, there's something going on. There's something going on here. So, what are we missing? Well, obviously, a lot. A hell of a lot. <laughs> um, we haven't got security uh well we have, technically we've got security but we haven't got like a big security room for all of the door openers that we're going to need we haven't got armory we haven't got kennels we haven't got the staff area uh staff rooms we haven't got things like that so there's a lot we haven't planned off but that's on purpose we do have things like the morgue to build infirmary i mean a lot of these here are going to be these are going to be like infirmary and visitation, chapel, parole, shops, mail rooms, classrooms. Not that we may... We might not even have all of that, I should point out. Uh, yeah, planning, objects. I do want in these corners. I do want some... Probably some snipers. Although realistically, these are going to be solid walls. So I don't know if we're going to need that. We shall see. Um... Yeah, so going back to rooms, actually, but beverage first, beverage first. So, there's many rooms we haven't pl planned, but beyond, to be honest, we've got this space here, yeah? This could be any of that. I mean, there's no reason at all as well why I can't remove that and have more pathways around and have m bigger areas. I mean, that just makes sense anyway, doesn't it? Having that like that. And having T-junction. Oh, I quite like that, actually. <laughs> I quite like that. Mm. Okay, that's happening. That is happening. So I'll come along. Realistically, you could just put that there. And have that as a big room. But I think the this one here... Does that give us more options? Yeah, I mean, you're never going to need a room that size. Realistically. So having it like that, with the pathways, I think is probably the way to go. But, as I've said previously, this can change. And, a, and yeah, this is still staff only. All this staff and visitors only. Alright, okay. It just leaves these two rooms here. Which, we've got things like offices to put in, security rooms... Staff only areas, staff canteen, the kitchen, not just for the staff, but also to supply the uh, the inmates with food. Don't know if this is too small. We may alter the size of that. It's quite easily done. Could just sort of bring it back over this way if we needed to. And obviously, elephant in the room, all of this space. Like we don't necessarily need this. As is. I could just make this a big building. And all this is building on either side. It's probably it's probably what I'm going to end up doing. However, the reason I'm hesitant to do so. Is I'm thinking about expansion. And specifically expanding to the other side of the road. Because it's interesting. Which means I don't want this a full building. Because I, don't, I want walkways to come along and up and over. So, okay. <clears throat> I think for now. That's a rough plan. Let's go through room. Cells, yes, several. Holding cells, no, we're not having any. Solitary, yeah, we'll discuss that another time. <laughs> it's going to be somewhere, obviously, but I don't know exactly where yet. 
Um, dormitory, no. Canteen, yes. Kitchen, yes. It'll be over here somewhere. Showers, we're not having any. They're going to be in each individual rooms. Yards, we have three of. Storage, we haven't got. That'll be over in one of these two areas or probably around here. We have deliveries and garbage, which we'll have to shift. Workshop, I don't currently plan on having any. Security rooms, several offices, no. But again, it's just earmarked for something on the right. Infirmary will be one of these, maybe even two of them. So we'll see how we get on with that one. Morgue, we don't technically need any more, but we probably will run with one somewhere. Common room, we don't have any, again, any of that. But again, it could go around here. We could even... We can even have a room just that juts out around this area like this and have just an entrance there. That's all possible. Probably going to have a common room in, in this area. Just a like small common room in the individual cells with some pool tables and such. We have uh, laundry. Again, one of these buildings here will be fine. Visitation, we'll probably have two of them. One top, one bottom. Cleaning cupboard, probably not. Kennel and armory is going to be in the staff area somewhere. Staff room, again, similar thing. Uh, library. Yeah, one of these access rooms. Forestry not having classroom. Same thing as the library. Exports, we've got chapel. Yep, library, classroom. So it's all this sort of accessible area here, which has almost a one-way system. Parole, yeah, same thing. Reception at the front. Mail room around here. Shop, yeah. Gymnasium. That was weird. I clicked on gymnasium and <laughs> we had that noise. Um, Yeah, gymnasium somewhere. The cage. Outdoor unit. Single prisoner can use to exercise, keeping them isolated. We could have some cages around here, but I don't know how it works when it comes to routing. That's a brand new thing that I've not tried, so we'll see about that one. Tattoo uh, removal room. Painful, tedious process of getting them re um, removed. Indoors, minimum 3x4. Yeah, it can be one of these ones. And a fight club, which doesn't exist, so I don't know why it's even in the list. Yeah. For all intents and purposes, the room does not exist. <laughs> Minimum size, 5x5. Five five. We'll put a couple of those, you know, around the place. Okay, well, I don't want to oversaturate this episode with planning. That's our design. I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> the fun will be in finding out. I'm tempted, by the way, on about Fight Club. To have, like, the Fight Club at the back here. Just have a room back here, which could be common room. There's loads of space, and as long as it's internal, that's all that really matters. Technically, this we could have a lot more... Um, we could have really built these out, because we don't need this if it's all internal. But I didn't know that was going to be the case by the time we got to... Well, when I started build, when I started planning it, I didn't realise we were going to have all that internal. But yeah, maybe just a room back here. Fight Club, if we're going to have those. Uh, again, we'll see how it goes. The original idea was to have a prison that was totally messing this up was to have most areas autonomous so we don't have guards coming in all the time they wouldn't be stationed inside the main body of the facility so we're not going to have Guards patrolling around here. We're not going to have them patrolling around here. We'll have cameras. But we won't have them patrolling. And we'll also have them stationed in these security rooms. Which I may make larger. So if it kicks off. Through these doors. Which are all remote access. Straight in. No nonsense. Get stuff sorted. Similar thing for here. Do these doors make it even less secure? Because a prisoner from here can bash through into this side. Is it less secure? Probably. <laughs> It probably is. It probably is less secure than just having a straight door. Hang on, that's not right. Yeah. It probably is. But this is different. It's something I've been wanting to try for a while. And I think that is the perfect time to leave it there. Like I say, I don't want to oversaturate the episode with micro building and managing every little size for every little building. I think we've covered the bases. And this also gives us enough um, leeway for interpretation, for... Invention, changing things, and obviously your feedback, um, which probably won't have long to give because the next episode will be recorded in about 24 hours. So yeah, <laughs> if it's this, if feedback's not, uh, feedback is not left by then, uh, by the time this episode comes out, then yeah, 
Sorry, haven't got to it. Either way, that's going to be the uh, idea for the next facility. This is Prison Architect with the Gangs DLC and the Kite Update. Other, other DLCs are activated upon request or mainly activated upon issues. Like, we want a feature from one of them that we're going to bring in. We're not going to do the transfer stuff. Uh, we're certainly not going to do weather and temperature. But we do have staff needs to look after. And obviously, yeah. Other things to manage too. That's our potential solution to the next, uh, the next series. So, as always, comments in the comments. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions, changes, general feedback, etc. And next episode, we will crack on with some of the building. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And for what it is, the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.